Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is going to be a Christmas Eve video. So this is actually Christmas Eve today, of course. And I'm actually filming this video today. So this is going to kind of be a real-time live look at what we're going to do today to get ready for our Christmas traditions tomorrow. And what we're going to do to get ready for the Christmas traditions today, tonight. Christmas Eve this year is going to be a little different. In the past, we would celebrate Christmas Eve with Miss Cindy. She would come over. We would do gifts, oyster stew. Um, of course, she's passed away, so she's not with us this year for that tradition. So we decided we're going to do something a little bit different. Mom and Dad are still going to do oyster stew because they like it. I don't. And um, I'm actually going to cook me and my uncle. Me and Paul are going to cook some shrimp scampi and eat it. So if Granny fills up to it, she's going to come up here and eat with us. If not, we'll take her a plate. But that'll be something fun to do. Corey is not with me. Usually she'd be right here in the video. Um, her and Austin are at Austin's family this year for Christmas. So before anyone says, where's your sister? You've hijacked the channel and kicked her out. Um, she's not in trouble or timeout. She's just not physically here. So I'm going to kind of do this video as like a little vlog style of what's going around, uh, and what's going on today at our house on Christmas Eve. Um, I do have a few jewelry things that I'm going to do. Won't take long. Finish those up and then we will start cooking for tomorrow so usually Corey and dad do the dressing i'm doing dressing since she's not here and it's probably about one o'clock so far we went to church this morning got back and everybody's kind of regrouping to get going with the rest of what we need to do so come with us merry happy christmas eve and let's do it these are the jewelry things i want to finish up real quick it's mostly just all finished work um those are just some funny little things that I did. I don't know <laughs> what I'll think about that. That's a pair of earrings that's almost done. There's a necklace that I need to finish. Two more necklaces. Um, this is something I've been playing with. This is what I'm calling my prototype. Hello, Binks. Um, he's interested in these prototypes. This is just my first run at this idea that I've got to kind of combine these metal and beads. So I'm hoping that it's going to look more refined than that. But working on that, that's another version of that. Those are going to be something. So I've just been kind of playing around with some different styles. Got a few rings. What do you think, Binky? Hmm? What you see, Binks? He's very interested in looking out the window. He likes to get up here so he can see out the window. Um, so that's mostly what I need to do. These right here are going to be similar earrings to these. And then, of course, these two. So I just need to pick something. Um, pick some beads for those. And maybe Binks will help me pick, huh? Okay, I finished um, this jewelry. It finished tumbling. And I kind of just come and put it under one of these filming lights. Just so you could see. So that's the earrings done. The necklaces. They're kind of neat. They're just, it's that, you know, that's something different. Still working on that prototype, that idea. I've not got it refined and polished how I want it yet. But those are, those are not too bad. So this is what I got out of the tumbler, the finished product. And now I'm going to put these away and it's time to do the dressing. What are you doing, Dad? Peeling eggs. Boiled eggs. In preparation for the dressing, correct? Correct. Put your vegetables in this. Like the celery and celery. Yeah, when you do chunk. Must chop the celery, guys. So the eggs are actually that dad was showing that you saw back there because I filmed that part and everyone's going to say we went from shelling eggs to this where are the eggs at they're right there I just yeah I don't mind celery in stuff but there ain't no way I'd just sit here and eat it raw how some people are like oh I love celery and peanut butter I don't think so right do you want it? Do you want it a little finer? Uh, you just suit yourself. It don't, it's going to cook, so... 
Dad, yeah, what's your favorite part of this whole meal? Like we have the dressing, the meat, the rolls, cranberry sauce. The... I like the cranberry sauce off the well, which we don't have any this year because we didn't get any. Oops. <laughs> but that's all right. We made sure to buy some the last time and then I forgot to eat it until after it was over with. So I ate <laughs> a little bit. But, uh, and I'm not a big turkey fan. But I love turkey gravy. Yeah, that I like that. And I made the gravy last time from the turkey, and I really do like that. There you go. Thank you. I don't really know and what I like is. the deer meat, of course. I do like the deer meat. I keep thinking, how the heck is that supposed to work? Okay. Now push that. Now it should work. Oh, yeah. Voila! You like that? That's cool. Huh? It's like I said, I love onion choppers. <laughs> right. We love onion choppers and we hope that you get one too. That was a big one. <laughs> that was a big honking hunk right there. It was. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, one last piece. This is kind of fun. You can also do the eggs with it. The eggs that goes in if you want. Yeah, that would be cool. Now we can just set that aside and well, check these out. I don't out. like about those much big chunks for this. Yeah. I mean, we're out there could. Okay, I mean, if you want me to throw them out and dice them a little more, I will. doing this and the whole recipe uh, up too, don't we? I like that. I know Corey did one, I think. So if anybody's like, what the heck? You're not giving us the instructions. We want to make this. Don't worry. I'll hunt for that video. Link in the description below if the video exists. It does. Like we, I think we, it does. I think we've actually done it more once. That's right. Ooh, my eyes are still like burning on fire. So everyone's going to be like, what's Cody crying? Oh, I'm not. I just got the burning onion eyes. Right. <laughs> I feel this thing full. Okay, so what do we want to do now about it? Do uh, we want to put this aside and break the cornbread and break the toast? Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's what I'll do. That you just going to have a bunch more dishes to wash. Okay. Let's just set this temporarily right here. So now I'm just breaking the toast. Break it up in small pieces. I don't guess, I don't know, maybe I've done this before. If I have, it's been a long time. I usually get Corey to do this because I'm busy in my dungeon sweatshop. Okay, so now what we do is the eggs. Dump that in it. You can finish chopping. I mean, these eggs right here. <laughs> so, my idea is to have it's okay that these eggs are going to get like fine, small, and mushy. Okay. okay. And you Yes, and it's been very delicious. Even just this looks so good. <laughs> it smells good. I actually, as you're making this, before it's cooked and done, I've always liked it raw in the bowl before you cook it. I like it better like that. I mean, there's too. nothing in there that's going to hurt you. No. You don't need to mash all that up. Okay, just this incorporate time because it. We're going to do it later when we start adding the liquid. Okay. All right. Okay. Now. Add it in. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna do. It really is. Pretty good, isn't it? 
by far my favorite part. It always has been. I would always, which I don't guess I've ever spent any holidays away from home, but if I ever had to, I think that's what I'd be the most disappointed about, is if I didn't make my own, I'd miss the dressing. Because I've never ate any of the dressing that I liked as good as this, even though I've had some really good dressing. That's not to knock off on anybody else's. I've had some other really good stuff, too. I'm going to put you a couple. It's just my favorite. A couple of them. It'll take more. It always takes more, but start with them. Okay. People freak out when they see mustard going in this. But, crisp. Well, and it, I can say, it's not going to end up being overly mustardy like you think. Oh, then it's going to taste no, I don't know. A little bit, a couple of tablespoons of vinegar. Okay. And it'll take more of that in a little while. I think it's cool to think about how many times Curtis and them ate this. Mm -hmm. And we're eating it too. Chicken broth. And this is kind of an eyeball it situation too. This, this whole thing is eyeball it to me. And we'll need more of this as we mix it up. But we're aiming for a consistency so, to pack into a pan. Yeah. Correct. What is that? Butter? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's right, I forgot about the butter. People freak out on that food. But... <clears throat> Whatever. Don't worry, y'all. This is good. Right. Pepper and sage. Pepper. The sage, is, it makes it really good, but it's also what gives you the heartburn. Wanting to come out of the lid normal. I used to hunt with a feather that he eat this, we made it somehow or another one year. He liked it so much. He wanted more sage and he's, he wanted so much sage in it that it, the whole, all that just turned green, that, that white or that lighter color, he wanted it green. I mean, it's like a half of one of these. Mix it up. I was going to say I should, besides my yabbing, of course I would be talking when I'm supposed to be working, but I was going to say I should let you test it anyway, have a more, a better taste for this than I do. And yes, I did wash my hands very well. <laughs> getting that right consistency now, getting a little sticky. Yeah, it's getting stickier now. You don't want to make you taste it so much. You want me to eat this whole bite or save you some? Eat whatever you want, Abby. Just get me another spoon and I'll try about. We'll see what it needs. Mm -hmm. Trying to get a piece of that. I don't know what onion tastes like. <laughs> it's pretty good. I can taste some sage. Maybe a hair dab of some sage, and maybe a hair dab of some salt. Hair dab. And I'll have to give you this to, since my hands are covered up. We won't be like the guy who wanted green dressing. <laughs> I'm like you, I need to find something that ain't got an onion in it, because I know what an onion tastes like. Something like that. That's a little closer, yeah. Need anything else? I don't know. I don't. I don't want to be like say yes and then it doesn't or no and then it does. <laughs> yeah. You want me to just get you a piece? There you go. Like I 
I said, this is usually Corey's job, and it is now my job. And if I do a good job, then maybe I'll replace Corey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of is, yeah. Pretty good. Call it good. Yeah. Good deal. So maybe I just that. need to tin pull it and put it in the refrigerator and we'll cook it tomorrow. So how long does this cook for and how what? Uh 30, 40 minutes on 350 or so and the last the last 10 or so minutes I'll uncover it just so it'll Kind of brown the top a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Bon appetit. I'm going to go for a good idea to go. Very good. It is scampy time and we have the shrimp in the sink, so it's time to get them out and get them ready. Is that all of it? Yeah, that is all of it, but there's a bunch of it. So how did you come up with making this, you said? I used to buy it in angles in a bag, frozen, with, with part of these same ingredients. And then I just decided I could make it myself, and it would be more fresh or whatever, not frozen. Cool. Shrimp has been detailed. I <laughs> love saying that. I think that's funny. So we got that going. Paul is working on some carrots for this. It's going to kind of be like, almost like a pasta, like Alfredo. And we're going to add the shrimp back to it. So now it is my job to cook the skimps. Paul's going to cut some broccoli. Looking good. We got veggies, the shrimp, everything is cooking and that's good because I'm hungry. Okay, the shrimp is done. I took that off the eye. The vegetables are simmering and now we are boiling some noodles. So it's only a matter of time before we are eating some shrimp scampi. We have these dinner rolls and I'm going to put just a little bit of garlic powder on the top with this butter and then we're going to have garlic bread to go with this meal. What do y'all think? Excited? Hungry? Yeah. Ready, yeah. To ready to eat? Mama, ready to eat? Ready to eat. <laughs> P-Dog, ready to eat? Mm-hmm. Ooh, looks good. I had pinto with fried taters and squash for lunch, so I'm not really hungry, but this stuff will be good enough to eat. Oh, Are yeah. hungry or not. It's it's, oh, it's really pretty, and it smells so good. Tipper, you want some before I... We are ready to go. Got the plates out. P Do's gonna get him some to eat. Man, that looks so good. I love how colorful it is. All right, mom. Mama's gonna do a little bit of video in too. Yeah. Dad, you ready to eat? Yeah, I've been ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to eat. We'll make this sort of thing with a little bit of chicken. Mm -hmm. Good. You probably do it several different ways, several different kinds of. Oh, it's good. Mm. Rub your alley. Mm -hmm. You need as much thing, it's just as good as not bad. Mm. I like how Paul does all the vegetables. That's what makes it so good. Mm -hmm. 
Very test driving. Probably my favorite part. Oh, yeah. So sweet. I really like the short pasta. Yeah, I was out of it. No, I didn't have enough of it. But I even like this strippier, longer, like fettuccine stuff, too. Mm -hmm. That's usually how they make it in the restaurant. If you get chicken alfredo, it's usually that fettuccine. And now they, I, I do think most of the time the restaurant does put too much Alfredo. It's just like liquid, you know, just yeah. swimming in it. This is our new Christmas Eve, okay, tradition. Katie and Paul eat some sort of pasta. They all eat some stew. Corey and Austin are here. They can have their pick of stew or Daddy does both. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Corey actually taught me how to make him vegetables like that. Corey's? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was already making them, but I wasn't really seasoning them with anything. You remember? So she told you to season them? The fit, uh, yeah, oregano and all that. Mm. It's been 30 years ago or a little over. I mean, you were dating, and I come out here and I cook some. That your mom and dad made it with shrimp, I believe, of some kind. Mm. <clears throat> I think it was shrimp. But I can, I can vividly remember cooking and mm. thinking, well, I didn't know anybody much. I was thinking, gosh, I hope they eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they like it. Cook so much. I don't know. But that was before we were married. Daddy cooked a lot. Before you come out here, you know, we'd eat deer meat every now and then. Mm -hmm. But it just kind of like, yeah, whatever, you know. And I'd had, and different people had tried to fix it. I could not believe it. <laughs> First time I ate some of the cheap cook. I mean, it's like a totally different onion. I don't know mm -hmm. that we had one clean dry. It's just chewy, just rough, tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what it is. You've got to clean it, and it takes a lot of work. I'll it's tell you, somebody there. can cook it. Who, Deidre? Yeah. I've heard Deidre's is really good. I'll eat some Deidre's. Now, good. she ought to have had a lot of practice. Yeah. Yes. She always brought something like that when they had her cooking at the building coat. Mm -hmm. And it was like cubed fried meat, but she seasoned it somehow or other, and it was always good. Everything I've ever ate that Deidre made was good. Yeah, she's good cook. Well, I think this is fun. This would be a you gonna try a little dab of it? Well, yeah. I mean, we should do it again. Next I'm time I might be in the South of France, but <laughs> <laughs> somebody better be cooking me some pasta. A little bit likes pasta. I'm, I make that same corkscrew pasta and I put it in half, half marinara, half spaghetti sauce, and uh, put meatballs, buy meatballs, and uh, fry them. Mm. And then after they've been frying for a while, cut them in half and turn the hash down so they get real done in the middle. And put pepper and onion and uh, tomato in there on top of them. Wow. And then mix it all together. Sounds good. And uh, make garlic bread. Oh, that does sound good. I said sometimes when we do, like, I made that shrimp scampi just a different version, a different way. Uh, but it wasn't near as good without vegetables the last time remember when you was up here but anytime we eat like pasta or like last night we had steak or like rolls or salad it always reminds me of Papa and Nana because when we were little at their house they always had something like either spaghetti like rich good food all the mm -hmm. time and it's just and Nana can cook really good spaghetti she Everything can, she, she cooks cook about is really good, and Papa can too. But it's just funny, like when we go out there at Christmas and stay. When we were really little, we'd stay for like four or five days. Papa would plan out the dinner menu, and he knew we liked spaghetti, so he'd be like, "We have spaghetti," and then he would do hamburgers and make French fries. Sometimes he would do fish, and they'd have to get us something else. When we were really little, they'd go get us a Happy Meal mm -hmm. <laughs> while everyone else ate fish um sometimes they would get uh subs or when we were also pretty small we liked those little frozen pieces yeah so everybody else would be eating like this delicious really good meal like good fish and here me and Corey are eating frozen, frozen pizzas, pizzas and loving it well it's just being a kid <clears throat> i think you had, you can deep fry them 
Mm. Pan frying oysters is really hard. You bread them? Yeah, most of the time, but Matt's papa had oyster stew every year, too. Yeah, it's just, just the traditions why, why I do it, just because my, my papa mm -hmm. and my Is that who did it? James did it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did he get it from that they did oyster stew? Because that's, I, I mean, that's first started writing about it on the Blind Pig, I found out that's really common in lots of places. And that's why at Christmas, and like Ingalls, you didn't go with me, they had their, had them sitting out in ice. Oh, it's like they okay. know lots of people okay. put them in their dressing. That came from wow. Ireland? Yeah, or Scotland. Yeah, one of those places that that's a carryover from yeah. that. Cool. Mm, okay. And I don't, I don't know. Not just Appalachians, but <clears> like Abram, all up and down the eastern seaboard that do it at Christmas. Yeah. I, I didn't, didn't never know why my, I didn't know my grandpa never heard him talk about it or nothing. I didn't even know he'd done it until I was grown. Mm. Yeah, of course, he, was, he died when I was real small. I asked Max, uh, Aunt Jimmy one time, I said, she's one of the oldest ones. I said, well, how did your daddy get oysters? How would he have got oysters back then? I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt her. I was just curious. Um, but she's like, well, they just put them on a, a truck and just brought them in here in ice and put them at the grocery store. And you just go down there to Smathers or something and everybody just go down there and get them. This is another thing that happens Christmas Eve night is anything that's big, too big to wrap, gets hid. So dad snuck this up here and threw a blanket over it for mom as a Christmas present. So... Last minute wrapping, last minute little touches for tomorrow. And I just think it's funny that we have this gigantic, oddly shaped stack of stuff under this blanket. <laughs> I followed my nose through the kitchen. This is the deer ham that Dad is preparing. Tell us this is going to bake all night, correct? All night long. Right before we go to bed, I'll put it on for on about 220 or 25 degrees and it'll cook about eight or nine hours. Ooh. Then when we get up in the morning, it'll be completely done. Mm. Wish all my viewers could taste this because they would love it. We've almost got everything done. I'm getting tired, but I've still got presents to wrap. Mom, are I'm you not, not joking? No, I'm not. I'm going to put this in perspective, y'all. I'm going to be literally posting this video in less than an hour, probably. And it is, what time is it right now? It's nine o'clock. <laughs> Y'all, it's nine o'clock Christmas Eve. We're still go we're still going. We're still getting it. Still getting there. Cool. I'm excited. So the food prep that we've done, Dad, you can see him putting bacon on there. He's finishing the deer ham. You said you did the sweet potatoes. We did the dressing. This is for the turkey. Mm -hmm. Mama made, made the, the muffins. Muffins, made the arch potato cake. And then we have some other stuff like those rich cracker things that I made will be for to, probably for tomorrow. Extra things like that that we've had. Holiday little goodies that we've ate in the last day or two. Wow. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it's late and I've not finished what I need to do either. Okay. You better get on it. Mom's getting practice. <laughs> <laughs> practice changing the turkey's diaper and patting the turkey dry because... Pretty short amount of similar time. To, similar to a baby, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You don't need practice. You got, you done done your fair share. Out of practice, I have to, I have to remember. Yeah, I don't know. This is cool. We got the turkey going. And is that the last thing that we have to do tonight as far as food goes? And then as mom. As far as food, and then I've got to wrap <laughs> presents. Yeah. <laughs> I've not done it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thought I would end this video next to my Christmas tree. Um, it is now past 10 o'clock and this has been a big day. A really long day of doing a lot of different things that needed to be done. I didn't really think it would take this long. I didn't think that it would be this late getting this video up. But I also wanted to show you an accurate representation of what my Christmas Eve has looked like. And it has been a long one. Just a long day of getting all of these things done. So... I'm wrapping it up though. I'm gonna take a bath, get in the bed. I'm pretty tired. Mom is still wrapping, so maybe I could help her if there's other people's stuff I could help her wrap. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed this little preview of our Christmas Eve, what it looked like. Um and I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas Eve night yourself, and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas. God bless you, God keep you. Catch you at the next one.
Merry Christmas.